Um, what I like most about working in customer care is the interaction we get with our customers. You learn really interesting things about how customers use our products um, and how it affects their life with their pet. Um, and I know for me, like some of our products have changed, they entirely changed the relationship I have with my dog. And to hear that from customers is amazing. From day one, uh, even before day one, just having my friend who referred me here showed me a video about what it's like to work here. And I came in from my orientation and it was spot on. The, the culture here is fantastic. You, it's fun. Uh, like I said, it's like a big family. Your managers feel more like your friends than, than your superiors. It just feels like uh, it's all peers here and it's all, all comfortable. I've never worked in like a, a cubicle environment, but I've you know been into some of those places and it just seemed a lot more dampened and uh, just kind of, uh, sometimes it can be hard to keep a positive mood in there. And here, just being able to see all the different people, see all the different things going on. Sometimes you'll see a dog pop over the, somebody's desk and it just really kind of livens up the, the mood of the office environment. And just really, it, it's a lot easier to make things positive. I mean, usually everybody has a really good outlook. It's easy to communicate with each other and just talk when there's nothing going on. The environment here is just so laid back and relaxed and everybody's just so friendly. You know, I've met the CEO. He sat at my desk and hung out and we talked about dogs. Um, we're always doing something. There's always food. We eat all the time. Um, <laughs> we're always fed. So the type of teammate I'm looking for, if someone was reporting to me, what would I be looking for in a teammate? Really, one of the uh, key factors for me is just communication. Someone that's willing to discuss what's going on with them, be willing to ask what's going on with me, uh, an openness, a friendliness, uh, really just an eagerness. Uh, eagerness to want to improve, uh, want to develop, want to help people. Uh, helping people is huge, right? Whether that's helping yourself, helping our customers, helping your teammates. Um, so it's really about attitude and, and wanting to be part of something bigger than just yourself while also developing yourself. Well, we want somebody who is open to change because things change a lot around here. It's just how it is. And who love to take care of customers. We don't have a script. We don't have a here's what you do in every situation because every call is different. Um, you have to be able to think outside the box to find solutions for for customers. As long as your mentality is, I want the customer to walk away knowing we care about them and they're important to us and their pets are important to us, then we pretty much can do just about anything. When you come in, you can do, you have the empowerment to do whatever you need to do to take care of a customer. The CEO. Uh, CEO. The CEO. We're the CEO. My name is Willie Wallace, I'm the Chief Dog Officer, and I've been with Radio Systems Corporation for over 17 years and been affiliated with the company for over 22 years. So the ideal candidate for a radio systems job or a job at Radio Systems, um, and to become one of our teammates, the, 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 number one, you have to be you, you have to be authentic. Number two, your values should align with our company values. And um, if you're doing an interview with Radio Systems, ask for the values. You'll probably be showing them anyway, but ask for them. And make sure that yours align with, with those of the company. Because if there's a misalignment there, then it's not gonna work. Um, number three, I, it's somebody, we look for a characteristic in, in, in people that we, we bring onto our team that are gonna do the right thing. And when I say do the right thing, that means it might not be in your job description today. It might not be what you were asked to do. But if you see something that needs to get done, take the initiative and have that bias for action to reach out and do it. Um, for our customer care center, we need folks that are going to take care of our customers. And we want someone that can make that decision by themselves and have that confidence in themselves and that authenticity to make the right decision for the customer at that time. Not the person that's going to have to ask for permission every time. The most rewarding thing at Radio Systems or working at Radio Systems, oh wow, there's a lot. <laughs> um, I guess for one, I get to be myself. and. For two, they've really kind of embraced the fact that I like to, you know, plan parties and decorate and things like that, and that's how they, I guess, put me in the associate engagement position. So I really get to make people happy, and that's, that's pretty much my job is to make people happy, make sure there's food, there's decorations, and, you know, just kind of keep morale up, and they care enough to let me do that and actually have a position for that, so. 
One of the most rewarding things is that there's room to grow in the company. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think that's a, an opportunity a lot of people have in companies is that you have areas to move throughout the company. Um, but I think that's one of the best things about RAC is that we do look internally when we look to hire. Um, so I think that's great. And of course, having dogs at work, I mean, that's like an awesome perk, you know, coming in every day and getting to see a dog, so, or many dogs, I should say. One of my favorite things about RSC is how much we contribute to our community, uh, not only for animals, but also for the people within our community. Like just a few months ago, we did the United Way campaign. Um, so we not only love our pets, but we love our people too. There are so many rewarding things about being at Radio Systems, and it's really hard to capture them in a word or two. This is one of the most amazing places I've ever had the experience to be in. Um, and it's just, I think, the most exciting thing about it is the animals, the pets. They bring everyone together no matter your class, your background, your social status, your political affiliation, your religious affiliation, the pets are going to bring us all together. They are love. It's going to, this is going to sound really corny, but it's like when your children, you have your children and they, they grow up and you do the best you can with them, like you try to teach them, and then when they are grown up and they go out into the world and you see what they do, it's just fulfilling and it's amazing. And so when I look through our company and I see all the people that started in customer care, including you, um, it's just very rewarding for me to know that we had, we've, we started all that in, in our department. Do you want me to keep on talking? <laughs> what the hell? Um, the, in, well, I'll um, ask that question again. So my name is Kurt Godfrey. I am the operations manager of the Invisible Fence brand contact center. This here is my co-pilot every day, this is Aria. Um, she's been coming to work now for four years, four and a half years. RSC culture is something that I have never experienced at any of my jobs in the past. Um, I would ever have thought that I'd work in a company where the CEO would walk around with a Nerf gun and shoot you. We would shut down for our 25th anniversary and have live music, food trucks, beer available to us. Um, that that kind of just perpetuates what we are. And it's work hard, but we also like to play. Um, the most rewarding thing about radio systems is getting to work with the dogs. Um, I love the dogs. Um, I don't have one right now, so getting to be around them all the time is just so much fun. And it really just like makes the day go by so much faster. You know, you're stressed out, I always go hug a puppy. So, <laughs> like, I really love working with the dogs. It's so fun. You know, when, you, when you, you're considering coming on to a, a team like this and coming on to a team of radio systems, um, a couple things that I, that I would ask you to really ask yourself first is one, do those values align with the radio system's values? Two, are you the type of person that absolutely really wants to take care of the customer? Or are you just looking for a 40-hour job and, and a paycheck? Because um, we want people with passion around here. If you have passion for pets, if you have passion for, their, for, for pet owners, then I say join the team, come on with us, and let's get it done.